Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I have a Ford Focus here, 1.6 TDCI. It's the uh, Peugeot Citroen Lump uh, 1.6 HDI TDCI engine. So we're just having a little look through it here. We're just giving a little rev up and down. Um, we can't seem to get the coolant temperature any higher than 85 degrees. It goes to 85 degrees and then it comes back down again. So I think he's looking at a thermostat on this. We're just doing some live data diagnostics on the DPF itself. Just hold the revs up at 3000 RPM. We'll have a look at the uh, pressure on the DPF, sort of sitting around 220, 220-ish. It's come, sorry, I'm dropping, the revs are dropping again. I just need to try and hold it steady. Try and hold the revs steady there. So we're looking around to 220 ish. It's coming down actually a little bit. The more we rev it, we'll let the car idle down. Let it settle. The sensor seems very slow on this, taking its time to um, settle down. It's very slow to settle down. So it's sort of sitting around a 20, 20 mark. So it looks like we settle in around to 18 to 20 sort of HPAs at idle there. Just um, the sensor seems to be very slow at um, catching up to the actual rate that it's on. So we'll uh, we'll pull the, the pipes off and uh, we're going to flush it out. But go back to the codes here for a minute. See the degrees there again. It's just dropped back down. Doesn't want to go up above. 84 I think the max we had it at so we've got a P242F code and a P2458 now this car has got extremely low mileage we have the engine malfunction sign on there uh, let me try and clear that off where's the mileage 50,000 miles and it's a 2008 car so it's been doing very very short journeys and that's why we're getting the regeneration duration code I'm gonna presume and um, the car just doesn't really get drive a lot um, very local journeys but of course like I said in the live data thermostat isn't reaching temperature either so that's gonna need uh, looking at and this car also has a uh, Eli's additive tank which is worth checking out customer doesn't want me to go into any of those areas today just wants to clean out the DPF now I've told him that if he doesn't get the thermostat fixed uh, the issue will come back he's come from over 150 miles away and he didn't um, plan to have any other work done so he just wants to have the DPF done today and his normal regular garage is going to do the thermostat and check his Eli's tank for, uh, for a top up so we're just going to clean out the DPF now so in this direction here of the engine you've got the sensor down here little T25 bolt there on it and sorry get that out we'll pull out the sensor there you've got the hoses on it so you got one hose that's slightly thicker than the other this one should be the, the one where the fluid goes in so with the engine running, we can confirm that that is the pipe that goes before it with a manometer here. This is a digital manometer. You can see there, that that's the one where the pressure is. And if you go in the other tube, it'll be considerably lower, maybe two or three HPAs. Okay, we've got the gun here connected up. That tube is running back to the DPF gun here, connected to the compressor. Uh, that is now filled with the launch DPF cleaner. Okay, now we're going to squeeze the trigger, get the fluid in there. And the compressor should kick in soon. Sorry if it's very a lot of wind noise. So we'll let that sit for 10 minutes. And then we'll uh, just put the clip back on there for the pressure tube, uh, DPF pressure sensor. Just screw back in the little T25 there that holds the sensor onto the battery 
uh, battery casing. Okay, we're back in the car, we've got the engine started up there. We'll get the revs increased back up to around three. A little bit over there if we can, just hold it around there. So we're sort of sitting around the same sort of mark, 220, 250. Well, I think we were around about 250 earlier, was it? Um, so we'll uh, see it, see how low that starts to go in a minute. Time now is 2.48. Got the screen to sort of adjust there. You can see then suddenly it just starts to drop. Hasn't even been a minute so far. We're actually creeping up at the revs as well a bit. Just try and settle it down around 3,000. Uh, just around about a minute's acceleration, you can see how good the fluid works there. I'll give it a few ups and downs. We'll let it idle there now, and we'll have a look at the pressure. So we've got less than one HPA. Sorry, the screen just keeps trying to focus. Okay, we'll come back into special functions. Um, powertrain control module. Now we're going to be looking at particle filter learned values. Key on, ignition off. We'll wait for that to uh, count down. Once we've adapted the DPF, clear the fault codes. That's complete. Uh, we'll read the fault codes, make sure they're gone. That's all clear. Start the engine back up, confirm we have no engine lights on. And if you take notice of the acceleration now. Way more free. Boosting up way quicker. And the revs are going all the way to 5,000 now. So we're doing about 3,000 RPM. Driven about 5 miles. It's not going above 81 degrees on the thermostat, so that's definitely going to need changing. That's it. We are all finished on the front fork.